Hey everybody, Bruce Wagner, host of The Bitcoin Show on OnlyOneTV.com, here to talk about how to get your business set up to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. Say you sell products or services and you want to accept Bitcoin as payment. So let's start here. Go to BitcoinMe.com and then click on the Accept tab. You'll find loads of information on this page if you scroll down. Now in the world of Bitcoin, things are changing at lightning speed. I call it the speed of Bitcoin or Bitcoin speed. As a result, it seems like every day, or at least every week, there are new service providers offering point-of-sale solutions, Bitcoin processing for both websites, shopping carts online, and retail point-of-sale. So because there are so many diverse options, both online with shopping carts, etc., but even more so with physical retail stores and point-of-sale, it depends on so many factors. The, the size of the chain or the store, whether it's a mom-and-pop shop or a large chain, the volume that they expect to encounter, the speed of the checkout process of that particular establishment. There's so many factors that we decided to form a group, a nonprofit group of volunteers who are Bitcoin experts who are there to provide Bitcoin merchant services for free, hand-holding for any business that wants to get set up to accept Bitcoin. We call it BitcoinSolutions.com. So as part of this tutorial, the first thing I want to do is introduce you to BitcoinSolutions.com. They're there. You can call, text, email 24 hours a day. BitcoinSolutions.com. It's a USA plus one phone number. 646-580-0040. You can call or text message that number or of course send an email to the address email at BitcoinSolutions.com. Or, of course, visit BitcoinSolutions.com for more information about that. And again, the idea of BitcoinSolutions.com is to literally hold your hand and take you through all the different possible ways that you could uh, set up a system, all the different systems that are available at the moment and help guide you through that process. And we charge absolutely nothing for this service and we make absolutely nothing on kickbacks or anything like that. We're just here to help grow the Bitcoin economy. Okay, so having said that, I expect you all to contact BitcoinSolutions.com for questions and advice. But I'm not going to leave you there. We're going to actually show you as a tutorial how to do it yourself for those do-it-yourselfers. So here's a super, super simple method for any mom and pop retail store to get set up accepting Bitcoin in just moments. Okay, so step one is get yourself a Bitcoin address. If you haven't already followed the Use tab tutorial and gotten yourself your own Bitcoin address for your business, you can do that now. Just go to mtgox.com, Mount Gox, that's mtgox.com, sign up for a new account. Once you're logged in, click the second orange tab here on the left, Funding Options, very easy. And then under Add Funds, Bitcoins, scroll down, and this long string of letters and numbers, capital and lowercase numbers and letters, that's your Bitcoin address. So just double click on it, right click, copy, email it to yourself, and now your business has a Bitcoin address. So keep a record of this number, it's very important. That's your business's Bitcoin address. It's like an email address, but the only thing anyone can send to you is money in the form of Bitcoin. Okay, now on to step two. Go back to bitcoinme.com on the accept tab, and you'll see that you need to post on your website. If your company has a website, what company doesn't, you need to post on your website the text words that say, we accept Bitcoin. It's important that you put the text words somewhere on your website so that Google search can find those words. We accept Bitcoin, Bitcoin accepted here, something like that. Also, if you scroll down this page, you'll see uh, several different choices of Bitcoin logos and graphics. Just pick one of the ones that you look, look appropriate to your site and then right click, save image as, and save that image on your computer, then upload it to your website so that you have have some indication for your customers that you do accept Bitcoin. Okay, so that takes care of your web customers. But now, if you're a brick and mortar retail shop, then you need something in your window to display to physical customers coming into your store. So, you scroll down and you'll see here, post a sign in your window, and uh, you'll see two links, bitcoinaccepted.jpg, JPEG, and bitcoinaccepted.psd. You can click both of those and download those files. Okay, so once you've downloaded those files and you open them, you'll see the JPEG image is, is simply that, an image Image, which you can print on a color printer and cut it and you'll have a nice looking logo. 
Alternatively, the PSD file is a file that can be opened in a GIMP image editor or uh, Photoshop or any other similar photo or image editing program. And then in this format, it's very, very simple for you to add text to your company logo or any other modifications you'd like to make to it. But the idea is very simple. You cut it and you take it to uh, Kinko's or any other kind of uh, photocopy print store uh, and have it laminated and then just tape it to your glass window of your storefront with clear box tape and it'll look surprisingly very, very professional. As you can see in this image at the top of the accept tab, this is uh, exactly what we did here at Mezzi Grill and that's what it looks like in their window. And they've added their own graphics for their brand. Okay, now if you keep scrolling down a little bit further on the page, you'll see we also need some uh, branding inside some signage near the cash register. And this is a very special sign because it's gonna accept, it's gonna actually display your stores, your business's Bitcoin address so the customers can actually scan it to send a payment. So one of the br brilliant developers in the Bitcoin community has created this little tool that automatically will create this sign for you. It's so cool. If you go to this little shortcut, bitcoinme.com slash QR, as in QR code, bitcoinme.com slash QR, or you can click this link. It'll open up in a new tab. So this is the page that'll pop up in a new tab. It looks like this. Now the first thing it's asking for is your Bitcoin address, which you may still have on your clipboard. But once again, if you go back to Mt. Gox, Funding options, add funds, Bitcoin, there it is. Just double click it, right click, copy. Make a note of how it ends, SX or XSN6 in this case, right? Now I'm gonna paste it into this first box. And then the second step is you can optionally add a company logo. So I'm gonna add a company logo, let's see, for this business. Uh, it can't be too large, so make sure the file size is not too large. Then you can put any optional text if you'd like to appear below the logo, and then you click Submit. That's it. And this page actually creates uh, this printable page. So here's what it looks like on the screen, and then you can just use your browser's file print function to print this on a color printer. So once you print it on paper on a nice printer, a uh, nice color printer would be good. Make sure you've got good ink in it because the, this QR code is very important. You'll see here the logo of the business that you uploaded if you did, any text that you inserted below that, and then this logo that says we accept Bitcoin. Then below that, please send your Bitcoins to this address. Now below you'll see here this is the actual Bitcoin address. Verify that that is the Bitcoin address in fact that is on your Mt. Gox account make sure that this number here matches this number here on your Mt. Gox account funding options add funds Bitcoin the number that you copied from here you can pretty much just verify the first letters are 1MR and the last are SN6 and you can easily see here it's 1MR and SN6 you know you have the right number now this QR code is a scannable barcode obviously and this QR code contains this Bitcoin address so the purpose of this sign is that you'll either laminate it or just put it in one of those plastic page protectors and keep it either in a stand by the cash register, uh, behind the counter, or um, the cashier could have it even in a drawer that she pull, he or she pulls out and lets customers scan it. But the customer will scan this code and that's how they send the Bitcoin payment to you. They use their smartphone and scan that code. Okay, so moving right along this process, now there are three pages that I want you to bookmark in your web browser, especially the web browser by the cashier stand. The first is Preve. It's P-R-E-E-V dot com. That's P like Peter, R like Robert, Edward, Edward, Victor. Preve dot com. Bookmark this page. The reason is it's a handy dandy calculator. It goes by the Malcox last price and you can see it defaults to one Bitcoin equals how many dollars and it changes and updates continuously in real time. It defaults also to US dollars which you can change here. So the point of this page is that if I, I know that one Bitcoin is three dollars and nineteen point one cents right now but as a cashier if I'm ringing up something for twelve dollars and ninety five cents I instantly can see that's 4.058 Bitcoin. So if someone's buying lunch and the, the, for the group it comes out to 48.48, uh, 48, then that's 15.19 Bitcoin. So as fast as you can just key in the number, you can see the number of Bitcoin. Okay, so bookmark this page, preve.com. 
All right, now the second page that should be bookmarked in the browser by the cashier is this. This is the Mt. Gox account history Bitcoin page. So you click the account history tab and then the Bitcoin, BTC means Bitcoin. And that is a page that you need to have bookmarked as well. Account history, Bitcoin, so that this always appears on the bookmark. So just go to this page and add this page as a bookmark as well. Okay, now the third page I want you to bookmark is constructed based on your Bitcoin address. So I'm going to put it right here on the screen. It's of course HTTP colon slash slash and then I want you to type into your uh, web browser this address. Blockchain is all one word. B-L-O-C-K-C-H-A-I-N dot info slash address A-D-D-R-E-S-S slash and then after that I want you to paste in your Bitcoin address that you had from the previous uh, step. Okay. Now this is what you should end up with. HTTP colon slash slash blockchain dot info slash address slash and then of course this part replace it with your Bitcoin address that we got from the previous step. So now when you go to this page you're going to see a page that looks very much like this. Transactions newest first no transactions. That's because it's a brand new address. That's okay. But still bookmark this page in your browser because this page is going to be very useful in the following steps. Okay so once again you've got three bookmarks that you have on your browser near the cashier station. Preve.com which looks like this your Mt. Gox account history bitcoins page which looks like this and that blockchain.info slash address slash and then your bitcoin address page that looks like this. Those are the three pages you're going to need. Okay only two more steps and you're all done and then I'm going to show you how easy this whole process is in a day-to-day -day transaction. All right next to last step. This is important too. Go to bitcoinme.com and click on the shop tab. This is where businesses uh, where, where customers would go to find out where to spend Bitcoin. It's important that your business now being a Bitcoin accepting business is listed on all of these sites. So just click the shop tab and you see go through each one of these sites you know when you have time and make sure that you follow the instructions on each of these sites to get your business listed in each of the various directories and maps and so on. Contact the operator of the site and say I'd like to please have my business added to your site. It's very important so that customers know that they can find you and they can shop and support you because you support Bitcoin by accepting Bitcoin. And if you're not listed in these directories how are they going to find you? Okay now this final step is optional but it is a trick that you can use if you're not very familiar with Bitcoin and you don't want to take any currency risk. Currency risk is as a merchant if you're accepting a certain amount of money coming in in the form of uh, dollars but you're accepting them as Bitcoin if the value of Bitcoin were to go down from the time you accept it until the time you convert those Bitcoin into dollars then you could actually lose money if the value of Bitcoin goes down. And that's known as currency risk. In most small operations uh, the merchant cannot, ex cannot afford currency risk in case Bitcoin was to go down 10 or 20 percent in one day which is possible. So again this step is optional but I would recommend it if you're not very familiar with Bitcoin and or you're not willing or interested in leaving your funds in the form of Bitcoin for long term. If you need to turn it into dollars on a very quick and regular basis then I do recommend doing this. So by putting this into place what will happen is every time bitcoins are received into your account they'll immediately automatically be converted into dollars so that you know you can bank on the dollars that you've received and the quantity of dollars. And here's how you do it. Log into your Mt. Gox account and it defaults to the trade tab and just click on sell bitcoin. Now on the sell bitcoin tab you can actually put in an order here. Enter the amount of bitcoin to sell. And you can literally just put in an order that can never be filled. Put in 1 million Bitcoin for 0 0.10 dollars per coin. So that's like 10 cents per coin. You're going to sell a million coins at 10 cents per coin. Now the reason that uh, we say 10 cents is it's not actually going to sell them for 10 cents. Mt. Gox will automatically always sell it for the highest bid price and then the second highest bid price and so on in order. So it will always get the highest price available. So you just do that and click sell bitcoins. 
All right, you have a balance of zero bitcoins before you start anyway. So what happens is it says in green here, your order has been queued for execution. All right, now when you go to another page and then go back to trade and refresh, you'll see you scroll down here and this is your open orders. You now have an open order and it shows the date and time. It's an, it's an ask, which means that you're selling bitcoins, not enough funds because you don't have any bitcoins in there right now. But there's a standing order here to sell a million bitcoins at a 10 cents each, etc. So what will happen is, Whenever a customer pays in Bitcoin, if a customer pays 25.72 Bitcoin, then as soon as it hits your Mt. Gox account, this order will immediately sell all of those Bitcoins for the highest rate available and convert them into dollars right away and then deduct that from the million. And this order will just continue to stand here until you click cancel. If you ever want to cancel this, it's very simple. You just click cancel or um, you've actually sold a million bitcoins and you have to put a new order in. But anyway, basically this is just the standing order idea is just a little trick that's going to force every bitcoin that hits this account to immediately be sold into dollars. So you can count on it when you receive a hundred dollars worth of bitcoins, boom, you'll actually end up with a hundred dollars in your Mt. Gox account. And thus you never have to worry if bitcoin is three dollars today and it's a dollar fifty tomorrow that the hundred dollars you brought in is now worth fifty dollars. Never have to worry about that problem. So you'll actually have the exact number of dollars that you expect to have. Okay, guess what? You're all done. You're all set up. In 15 minutes, your business is already set up as a Bitcoin merchant. Now I'm going to walk through the normal steps of the process of how it works when a customer approaches your cashier to check out. Okay, so your cashier rings up the order in the normal way. The cashier will probably hit a button. You, you'll have to designate a button as an alternate payment or gift card or something. Maybe assign a, an unused button on your cash register just for these types of Bitcoin transactions so that you can keep track. But anyway, the cashier goes to this page that uh, he or she has opened, the Prev page, right? And let's say the order comes to uh, $74.23. So literally types in $74.23. And then the cashier says, that's 23.26 Bitcoin, please. Because Prev automatically calculated as fast as she can type, of course. Next, the cashier indicates to the customer this sign, either pulling it out of a drawer or it's on display pointing to it. And then the customer sends that 23.2 whatever bitcoins to this QR code right here with their smartphone. And with one beep and a scan of the bar barcode, that amount has been transmitted. And as soon as the customer scans it and sends it, then the cashier goes to this bookmarked play page, the blockchain.info slash address slash your Bitcoin address this page that we bookmarked earlier and the cashier can immediately see the transaction here. This shows newest transaction on the top. Okay. The green arrow, meaning the money is coming in. And this is your company's Bitcoin address. And this is the amount, the amount in Bitcoin, the amount in dollars. And then this red box means unconfirmed. That means it just arrived and it's there. It's in the Bitcoin network, but it hasn't been confirmed by the workstations in the network yet. And by the way, on this page, you can scroll down and see the previous incoming transactions uh, all in order with the newest first so that you can recognize the different amounts and the different dates and times that they were received. Now, if the cashier goes to this blockchain page, refreshes the page with the refresh button and the transaction still doesn't show up here, then the cashier needs to go over to the Mt. Gox page, the bookmarked page for account history Bitcoin. This page should have already been bookmarked and then it should show right here the deposit in Mt. Gox. Again, refresh this page. So the bottom line is if the customer sent the payment then and you refresh this page, it should definitely show up here on the blockchain page or on the Mt. Gox page. Now the reason there are two separate pages is Mt. Gox transactions, if someone's sending it from a Mt. Gox account to a Mt. Gox account, it'll show up in Mt. Gox right away and it will not show up on the blockchain page. If the transaction is coming in from the outside Bitcoin network, then it will show up on the blockchain page first and then it will show up in Mt. Gox only after one hour later. But the bottom line is the cashier refreshes this page and refreshes this page. And if it doesn't show up on either one, then the payment was not received. And conversely, as long as it shows up on one, then it's safe. The payment was received.
Also, as a footnote, after one hour, all of those payments will be reflected in Mt. Gox. But it takes an hour for outside Bitcoin network payments to show up in Mt. Gox, which is why we use the blockchain info page to check as well, so that we can see those incoming transactions instantly. Okay, now at that point, once the cashier has seen the transaction show up here, the cashier's job is finished. She can let the customer go and say, thank you very much for shopping here. This next step happens kind of under the hood. It happens automatically without any intervention at all. And this again goes back to our standing order thing that we set up here, which is optional. But if you did set this up, then what will happen is uh, either immediately if it was a Mt. Gox to Mt. Gox transaction or within an hour if it was an outside Bitcoin transaction and it shows up in Mt. Gox within an hour. As soon as those Bitcoins hit this Mt. Gox account, because of this standing order, they'll immediately be sold and be converted into US dollars. So that will happen automatically if you have this standing order in place. But again, that's just going to happen automatically. The cashier, the manager, nobody has to do anything. It'll just happen automatically. And that's it. You're done. Um, that's how a transaction works. And again, there are no transaction fees and there's no such thing as a chargeback. So once that money has been received in the form of a Bitcoin and then can even, you know, whether it's converted into dollars or not, this, the funds cannot be charged back like a credit card or PayPal or other items like that. Now, the next step is once the merchant has US dollars in their Mt. Gox account, getting the dollars out. Now, if you as a merchant are set up with BitcoinSolutions.com for an arrangement like this, then you can actually exchange these Mt. Gox dollars electronically for literal physical cash, either on a daily basis, weekly basis, or even monthly basis, depending on your volume, if you set that up with BitcoinSolutions.com. And that will happen for zero fees and obviously for cash. Alternatively, you can actually withdraw the US dollars directly out of Mt. Gox if you go to uh, funding options on Mt. Gox and click that, then click withdraw funds and then select the form international wire. Then you can actually enter the dollar amount, which if you want the total, you can just copy and paste it right there from the total. And then fill in all the information from your bank. You can call your uh, bank branch and uh, put in the, you know, the name of the account holder, etc., address, etc., etc., including the IBAN or account number probably, and the SWIFT code, etc. And then click confirm, and that will initiate a bank wire transfer. And they say it could take two business days. It could actually take up to seven or even 10 calendar days to receive that payment. Also, of course, there are bank wire fees on both ends, which are deducted from your funds. So that's why it's kind of a better deal to deal with BitcoinSolutions.com because they're just going to give you actual cash dollars for these dollars right on the spot with no fees, no charges and no delay whatsoever. So that's it. That's all there is. It's as simple as that to get your business set up to accept Bitcoin. Again, there are many other providers, solution providers, even hardware, software providers for both retail, physical point of sale. Some specialize in certain types of businesses like restaurants, etc. And of course, many different uh, solutions for online websites, shopping cart integration and so on. So for lots of helpful information and advice, be sure to contact BitcoinSolutions.com. Again, it's an all volunteer group of Bitcoin experts who are there at no charge just to help advise you on these questions. And they're informed about the very latest state of the art in software systems and company offerings that are available. You can reach them at USA plus one phone number 646-580-0040 at any time. And they'll be very happy to help you hold your hand through the entire process and even share experiences of how other businesses have had successes or challenges along the way. So I hope this little tutorial has been helpful. Remember, go to bitcoinme.com for more information about the basics of how to use Bitcoin. Click the Use tab. How to buy Bitcoin, click the Buy tab and the Sell, of course. And Shopping, click the Shop tab for using Bitcoin to shop online or donate to charities and causes, organizations. Value is all about how to see the current value and all kinds of charting and data information. Security is how to secure your Bitcoin offline safely if you're investing in Bitcoin and you want to just hold it kind of in 
uh, storage, offline storage. Conference is about the upcoming Bitcoin conference, which is very exciting. Make sure you register for that. And Connect is all the sort of ways to, to connect with other Bitcoin users through the Bitcoin online forums and in-person meetups and development projects, etc. So I hope you also watch the Bitcoin show on OnlyOneTV.com. I will see you there. Make sure you click on the subscribe button. And thanks for joining me.